Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Uh, welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. Uh, we'll talk about the trading in a second. Um, I mean, pretty. What, I mean, what, what's pretty much left to say about today's day? Uh, very, very aggressive action. And, and I've, I've been saying this for, for many, many years, okay? Um, those who are patient and prepared are, are going to thrive. Uh, the people who are taking their time researching, uh, putting all their ducks in a row, making sure that um, they are putting their capital first, right? Putting their capital first to making sure it's safe, it comes back with friends. Those are gonna be the traders in the long run, they're gonna do very, very well. I, I think the traders who are waking up every morning and believing the reality that there is an opportunity somewhere, maybe there is, okay, but always keep this in mind, the opportunity that is out there, okay, there's like, you know, there's a two-sided, uh, there's a two-sided uh, situation there. If there is an opportunity somewhere, it probably will not match perfectly to your process. And the way the market is structured, you're only going to get very, very aggressive action if your process is being highlighted. And, you know, last night's video, we talked about how the NASDAQ 100 held the five-day moving average, put in a hammer, and every single time it put in a hammer off the five-day because that's the shortest market sentiment, usually good things are going to happen to the upside. So we got this gap up today, right? And again, maybe it had something to do with technical, maybe it's not. I, I'd like to think so it did. Um, but more important is, well, again, the market optimism that a China deal was going to get it done. The question is, well, what was going to happen after, right? What was going to happen uh, after the market opens up? Technicals were good. Stocks were strong. Can momentum finally really wake up? And if you look at today's day, uh, again, going back to last night's research, and you know, this is last night's, uh, this was last night's research. You had some longs. Uh, you had some shorts, obviously. Today was one of the more aggressive days I could remember in a very, very long time. And the craziest part about today's session was everything happened pretty much at the same time. Um, I mean, really very aggressive. A Roku, Tesla, obviously, continuation from yesterday's ridiculous, ridiculous move. And again, first thing I woke up this morning, I go, wow, this thing is already gapping up four or five points. Again, congrats to everybody uh, who took the stock. Again, you know, yesterday we had, you, you could see them. You could see them kind of lining up yesterday. They were buying uh, the 330s, the 335s, the 350s, uh, all, you know, between tomorrow's expiration and next week's expiration, very, very aggressively. This is the, you know, the highest close in the whole formation uh, since they came out earnings. And then you just started seeing the day just just really, really aggressive. I mean, one by one by one. My attention was on Tesla today. And I, I tell you, and the most amazing part, I had so much conviction in the trade today. Usually, you, know, you guys obviously see me, you know, see me all the time trade in the live webinar. I'm very, very calm. Today, I got very emotional about, about Tesla because... I knew this thing was going to test 345, uh, 340. I, I, I knew it. I mean, we were talking about this last night in the video. We talked about this morning in, in, in the webinar or the opening range high, that sneaky pivot, everything. I had so much conviction. So when the stock went from 331 to almost 333, and it kind of just held there for a little bit, right? It made that first $2 move. I was sitting there and my toes were curling. I, I felt my emotional, like I felt my emotional levels all rise and I was trying to almost will the stock higher and you you could see it. And, and that's why sometimes when people turn around and say, well, it's you know very, very easy to turn off your emotions, turn off your humanity, trade technically, not when you know what can happen and you can see it happening. And the only thing that's in your way is that one level of supply. And it, it took a little bit of time and took a little bit of time 
And then finally, it just absolutely exploded. I mean, really, really exploded. Uh, went to 340, whatever it was, 341 and change. Uh, just an absolute phenomenal, phenomenal move. Um, and I, I, I was laughing about it. And I, I, I sat there and by around 10, 15, 10, 30, I said, man, I got, I literally have nothing left. I literally have nothing left. You, you saw such really phenomenal moves within that first 45 minutes. I mean, what are you going to do for an encore, right? I mean, what are you really going to do for an encore? It just made it an incredibly aggressive day. So let's talk about it. Okay. Uh, for, first from the macro level, uh, again, you know, market's strong. Again, look, can, can the market turn at any given time? Again, we, we, we kind of, you know, we, we kind of talked about the scenarios for a couple of days. Again, I'm always trading eyes wide shut. I don't have the the rose colored glasses on it. Look, I, I think if we start losing the five day, and again, you could turn around and make a case that we put in a kind of a little blow off top here, right? Last time we put in this blow off top right here, we kind of went down. Okay, so we here's the kind of blow off top. But look, can we can we start confirming the previous day's low and start heading lower? Yeah, we could. Again, I don't want to make too much out of it. Obviously, I'll, I'll need to dissect more information after tomorrow's day. But again, I, I think there's really, really good action for both long and the short cases. Again, the most important part is to be ready for it, to be patient, do your research, and come in the next day, open mind, uh, clear, you know, eyes wide open, and make sure everything uh, confirms the proper way. So let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about the day. Um, Ridiculous. So uh, Roku, right? 19, uh, 119 held uh, two times pre-market. Uh, if it builds below, can flush after hours lows, uh, 117. Uh, it just got hammered. I mean, it really, really got hammered. And there was a, a reload. There was a reload buyer sitting there pre-market. You saw how much stock the guy put in. I mean, really, really aggressive. And again, here was the, you know, here was the, th the 119, right? Here's the 119 we talked about. 119, excuse me, right here. Uh, 11919, uh, 11906, right? So we had a point of reference. Okay, here was the 119 that held twice that we talked about. Here was the 117 low from last night's uh, earnings low, right? So again, here was, you know, again, here was, again, technical analysis is not random. It held twice. If it builds below, can flush after hours low was 117, just kind of a point of reference. So again, here's, you know, here's exactly what it did. So here's the 119, right? It finally went through, okay, finally went through. Took out the 117, went all the way down to the 16 level, just a, a very, very aggressive candle. It ran back up, you know, but again, does it really make a difference? And tomorrow, and again, you have a nice, you have a very, very clean pivot to watch tomorrow for a possible move down to 110. So we'll, we'll definitely talk about that uh, in a few minutes. Uh, so that was big. Uh, BYND, again, is there really anything left? I mean, how many more PRs? I even missed the PR today. When they spiked up the stock, nobody cares. It spikes up. They spike up the stock a dollar and it comes right back down. Uh, any day now, they joke around this. Any day for that 79.50, 79. If it builds below, it should start next aggressive look, like lower. And again, you know, here's BYND. Every PR gets sold, right? So it finally starts cracking down. This is the lowest close. It went all the way down to like. 77 from that 79.50. I still think this thing. I I would be shocked if this thing is not in the mid 60s in the next uh, couple you know couple of weeks. This is just complete dog, absolute dog. Um, just a big beautiful move there. Um, Square downgraded, got downgraded by Evercore. I said watch the green to red short. No, this isn't a pivot, just momentum. Experienced traders only. And I didn't trade the square. It was too fast. It it, it if you see what happened, and, and this is this is real, right? This is real. This is last night, and this is real. This is all, hey, let me show you what happened in the first few minutes of trading, right? Just to give you an idea of how aggressive this thing was. So it, it, it gapped up, right? It gapped up, got downgraded, went down in seconds, like literally in seconds. Uh, went down about 70, 80 cents in seconds. And then three seconds, it felt like three seconds later, exploded. There was actually a pivot here at 63. I know some of you guys took it. I didn't put in this on the Twitter feed. It was just too, way too aggressive. We were concentrating on other things, but crazy, crazy move all over the place on Square. Uh, CNST, uh, it went late, it went late in the day, uh, 3150 got rejected twice yesterday if the reclaims can go. Uh, here is exactly what I was talking about on CNST. Again, you don't need to trade, uh, you don't need to trade beta to trade, uh, these stocks. Again, so here is, here is the 3150, right? You can see it rejected twice, 3150, 3150. And today it finally woke up, right? It finally woke up and went all the way up to like 3350. Again, if you took the trade, God bless, I was just... 
I was doing Tesla. Um, yeah, everything else for me didn't make a difference. But again, you got a two dollar move. You got a two dollar move. God bless if you took it. And tomorrow, if this thing starts reclaiming, you know, starts reclaiming thirty three seventy thirty four, maybe you get the next leg up. But uh, not a bad move at all. Not a bad move at all. Uh, shop again continues uh, to get weaker. Um, two ninety one. If it builds below, it can flush. Uh, shop here is shop. Right, so here is the 291. Right, here is the 291 from yesterday's range, and went all the way down to uh, 282. Really nice move, and really, really nice move on shop. And again, this is a, and again, the, the whole point of pivots are they, they don't care what the market does. If there's confirmation one way or another, it's 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 going to do very very well. Uh, Netflix, I mean, big move, right? 291.20, 291.50 needs to build. The stock explodes, right? You had all now, oh, look. I'm not going to talk about any individuals. You guys saw what happened today on Twitter, right? You, you guys saw what happened today with Netflix. All I know is this. There has been massive buying in the options market, the 290s, the 295s, the 300s for five days in a row, right? So the stock breaks out, puts in an initial move of like $3. Beautiful move. There's nothing wrong with this pivot. Beautiful pivot, $3 move on Netflix. And then all of a sudden, the lemon, you guys know who he is. Well, I'll call it Cintron. Citron tweets it out, blah, 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 blah. And again, literally, they tweeted this thing out at daily supply. I, I was saying in the webinar, the stock is going to get rejected here. Okay, how could people buy the stock at a rejection? And if you look at the daily chart, it got rejected right on the daily chart. So again, they tweeted it out. They know what's going to happen after the tweet. Come on, man. What do we, you know, we, we, were, we were born at night, but not last night, right? They knew what was going to happen. They got a whole bunch of people in at the top, literally retail at the top chasing that tweet, and they murdered the stock. Again, is it illegal? It's not illegal. Is it immoral? You decide. Again, as the old saying goes, people kill other people for $500 for $1,000. What do you think they're going to do for, you know, for hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars, right? So again, born at night, but not last night. Uh, Expedia destroyed, absolutely destroyed. Uh, 116, if it builds below, can flush more. I, Ridiculous, right? So here's the 116, right? Here's the 116, just just, just destroyed. I mean, destroyed, went out to 97. Um, it just one after another. And again, here's the you know here's the Tesla trade, just just gorgeous, just absolute gorgeous trade. Uh, 331 sneaky area needs to build. 332.74 is the pre-market highs. This is the point of interest, right? So here's Tesla. Here's the sneaky entry. Okay, here's the sneaky entry right over here. Here's the 331. Right here's a 331, three, uh, 33088, 3377. So here's a 331, right? Here's a 331. Here's a three. Here's the pre market high, 33375. And I said, yeah, listen, th there's a shot. This thing gets to 340, and this thing just absolutely exploded, right? Absolutely exploded with the 34150. Look, I, I think in the next couple of days, next couple of weeks, and this can this thing go to go to 350, 360? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, very, very strong stock. Um, I mean, I mean, let me get this ridiculous action. I think I'm done. Tesla. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I saw this all day. You know, one of the best trades ever. Shop. It's just, it was just nonstop today, as I tweeted out. Uh, absolutely nonstop today. So, again, it really does prove that you do not need to trade every day, guys. You just don't. You don't need to trade every day. Uh, and the most important part is wait for your. You know, wait for your uh, slow pitch, slow underhand pitch. And when it comes, depending how you're trading, you know, that's the part where you want to take some swings. So uh, let's talk about tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.